Hey, you guys, it's Drunk Monkey 42 here uh, with my wife, Hottie Monkey 42. We are back with our Dying Light Stay Human Part 21 of our uh, story like uh, playthrough. <laughs> so, we basically ended up over here uh, saving uh, all Atons. Atons life or whatever his name is uh his life we do have at least i think one two eight 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 or okay well i keep wanting to say aiden so i was just avoiding that so we do have the reddest red side quest and carriers side quest that we could uh that we could do before we start up the main mission but we're already here so I say let's just go ahead and start the main mission. Sound good to you? Whatever. <laughs> All right. Okay. So we're basically we're going right here. Good here. Yeah. Well. Appreciate it, buddy, for watching. Uh. All right. So we got to go up upstairs. Other side. I think we can cut through right here. Yep, there he is. Aiden, don't just stand there. Come here. He just needs an eye patch. <laughs> know what this is? These brass knuckles belonged first to Commander Lucas. Then they passed on to Ator. What happened in old Villador? It can't happen again. We have to save the city, Aiden. From the plague, from the butcher and his men. Whatever they're planning. Okay, but over the radio, you said you have information for me. Yes, but before we get down to that, tell me, Aiden, what do you need this database for? What does it contain? Uh, contains all my uh, adult websites I don't want somebody to see. <laughs> <laughs> I, I guess just tell them we're looking for our sister then. Well, whatever, he, I, we can't I'm choose what he said. What happened to her? A long time ago, Waltz hurt her. He took her from me. And I want him to tell me where she is. If she's still alive somewhere, or... That's why I was looking for the GRE command center. To access Waltz's database on its servers. So we have a common enemy. Meaning? Waltz. That's the Butcher's right-hand man. He pumps his men full of inhibitors. We can get them both. I brought you here because I know that a few GRE scientists are hiding out in the city. We picked up the trail of one of them right before the renegade attack. Sounds promising. When I find a scientist, we'll see what they know. If they are of no use, we'll find another and another until you get the answers you're looking for. Okay. Why are the G scientists hiding? Yes. Why are the former GRE in hiding? We know. They're afraid of the wrath of the people. People angry because the GRE spread the infection. So it's true. The GRE brought in the virus. Who else? They say they performed experiments in their bases. They brought in containers from Haran. At night. In secret from the government. And then everything collapsed. In revenge, people captured the scientists and hanged them from lampposts. And killed the only people who had a chance of finding a cure. There is no cure and there never will be, Aiden. That's GRE propaganda. Fine, but what do you want in return? What do you think I want? Maybe the same thing both of us want? The city has electricity again. The renegades are on the attack. For the first time since the war ended, they attacked our outposts in the city center. But new possibilities have opened up for us as well. Thanks to the electricity, we can fire up the biggest antenna in the center, on the VNC Tower Spire. Wait, you want to defeat the Butcher using radio? In a way. The signal will let me reach a larger number of people. Communication between settlements will be improved. We'll enlist more recruits and defend the city. And then it will be easier to find the surviving GRE doctors you need.
I'll do my part. But what guarantee do I have that you'll help me after? You don't trust me, Aiden. I haven't been here that long, but I can already tell that kept promises are rare in this city. If we don't find any of the GRE scientists, I promise I'll get Waltz for you. Okay. I'm in. Good. The Butcher attacked for a reason. I want to make sure the city is safe, no matter what. <coughs> you all right, sir? Maya will share our plan with you. Go see her as soon as you can. Oh, and Aiden. You don't have to call me sir. To friends, I'm Jack. Okay. Jack? Well, my last name is Mioth. Yeah, I can't say that I know the actor's name or anything like that, and whether he sounds like somebody. I'd have to look it up to see. Oh, well, look, we can uh, exit out of here. Uh, or, oh, yes. Oh, you know I am. <laughs> well, the nice thing about this game is it doesn't say we're stealing. We're technically finding it. Somebody hit it, and we found it. Hey, look, I'm, I'm Derek Zoolander. I can't, I can't make a left turn. I gotta spin around to the right. <laughs> uh, it looks like there's a quest. Yeah, there's a quest down here. A quest down. So let, yeah, I guess let's talk to this person here. Don't just stand there. Matt told me to see you. Yes, he wanted me to give you this. A little reward for helping us peacekeepers. A UV flashlight could come in handy. Thanks. He said something about a plan? The VNC tower. Now that the lights are on, we can use the TV antenna to broadcast our call for mobilization. But first, we need to get to the top. And that's a long road. What do you want to know? Tell me more about this radio station on the tower. It's the tallest building in Villador. It was once a symbol of the city's greatness. Now, a symbol of its fall. Why do you say that? That antenna could bring the city together once more. But anyone who goes up there trying to fire it up, guess what happens? Nothing good, I bet. Damn right. The city's potential shining beacon is a death trap. We're hoping it'll be different this time. We're gonna light it up with UV lamps. Uh, tell me more. What makes it so dangerous? A volatile nest inside, so we think. It's the biggest dark zone around. Once, night runners tried to take it over. They wanted to use the antenna to connect all the separate groups of survivors. Give the people some hope. But they never even got close to the antenna. And in the end, the night runners were wiped out. Uh, tell me more about what happened that night. Wait, wiped out? You mean every last night runner? That's the problem. Frank had it all carefully planned. But for his plan to have worked, he'd need everyone. All hands on deck. And that didn't happen? Not everyone believed in the plan. So there was a rift. Frank thought they'd come around in time, but not everyone came around after all. The plan went to shit. It was horrifying. Those who heard the Night Runner's screams on the radio that night still have nightmares about it. What happened to the group that refused to join the mission? Split up, drifted apart. Whoever led the descent was branded a traitor. And the Night Runners faded into a shameful memory after that. We shouldn't waste time on the past. We need our heads in the game, here and now. Okay, let's get going. Are the lights in place? They would be, if Juan from Supplies would just do his job for once. I take it that he didn't. 
He's been playing hide-and-seek the last few days, and he's late. Getting on my nerves. So look in on Juan first. See what his deal is. And when you do find him, kick him in the ass. Tell him it's from me. All right. Now let's see if we can say. find this book club thing. Maybe now it'll show up. Yeah, see, look, see? Uh, keep, um, okay. I didn't read the last part, but it doesn't matter. But anyways, I highlighted the book club thing, and now the quest where we gotta go is actually right there too. So maybe that's gonna take us right where we gotta go. Not necessarily, but it's fine. Looking for Juan Rayner. You don't appear to be on a schedule. It's urgent. The commander sent me. So Monsieur Jacques sends you? Jacques? Jacques Matt. Monsieur Rayner is not here. I can take a message. No, I need to talk to him in person. Where is he? Unfortunately, I can't help. Monsieur Reyna's whereabouts are no one's business. Wait if he must. Anything else? Yes, what's John do for fun? I'm joking, it's Juan. No, wait, but you're no Juan. fun. What about your boss? What's he do for fun? Monsieur Reyna is well known as a connoisseur of the finer things in life. Food, drink, and pretty much anything that walks on two legs. Is he near any of these so-called finer things right now? Maybe I can drop in on him there. Nice try, but no. I won't say. Matt's not gonna be happy. Juan is not particularly concerned with the little major's feelings. Do come again. In the one. Hayden, getting settled in the city? Working on it. Meyer and Jack sent me to supply. Interesting bunch. Not like any of the other PKs I've met. That might be because they're not PKs, Eagle Eye. Business is their true faith. I see. Anyway, I can't track down their boss. Juan? He likes to make himself scarce. Probably lurking around the fisheye. Yes, you. The canteen? The slick bastard's even got his own table there. Bribes the cook to bring him off-menu goods. He lives like the fall never took place. I'll look for him there. Good luck finding him. And good luck if you do find him. Alright, so we f I found the quest right here. Do I find it? I'm Albert. And from what I hear, you're Aiden. You have quite the reputation, my boy. For being fearless. For boldly crisscrossing the city at night. As if it were broad daylight. <laughs> you believe all that? At first, I didn't believe. Because a pilgrim's always a guy with some kind of dark past. A bandit, a rebel, an outcast. But from what they say about you... I'm sure whatever you've heard is an exaggeration. Nonsense, my boy. I have something you probably don't come across all that much. Faith. Faith in you. I'd be careful with that. It's no time to be careful, my boy. I believe that your strength, determination, and courage are just what you need to retrieve priceless treasures before they are lost forever. Before mankind is plunged irrevocably into the intellectual and philosophical dark ages so your books then this isn't about dime store paperbacks boy i'm talking about the greatest works of literature ever created through the eons of human existence the greatest thought pieces philosophical treatises works of romance drama and horror all of which serve to illuminate and uplift humanity itself 
Losing such a heritage would reduce us to cavemen, with no better way to express ourselves than through savage grunts as we scratch crude figures on walls. <laughs> sure. How can I help? Work with me, please, to find and secure these treasures. I've been researching the local private book collections. If I'm right, many priceless volumes may be found all around the city. Of course, many of the dwellings are now infested by these horrible creatures of the night. That's where you come in. Here, take this list. Each title on it corresponds to one of the many facets of humanity. Fail to save them, and the diamond of mankind will dull and shatter like cheap glass. Remember, we are not simply creatures of flesh and blood, but also of mind and ideas. I am charging you with the salvation of the very spirit of man. Right. I'm off then. All right. Wow, I ended up right here. I ended up, look at this. Look, look, I'm right above you. Wow. But I say, since this is like right on the way and we can always get this done here because I it should be in a, this is an apartment. So, I'd say we hit this one first. Come over here, we'll hit this, and then maybe unlock, maybe do the metro station uh, as well. And I'll. Um, so we're gonna go uh, right, right near, right here. So is this parkour challenge? I think we could drop right here to the balcony. Two of them, this guy spotted me now. <laughs> See if they had anything in the refrigerator. A couple things. Looking for a book. I haven't found the book. Have you found the book? Oh. Hey, baby. Yeah, go figure. Okay. So now we are going over meh. That, that's pretty, that's pretty, that's lame. It's, it's borderline chuckling, but it's not like, <laughs> yeah. Ugh.
Well, yes, but you know, when it comes to movies, we see probably the there it is right here. There. Man, that's all you do. Okay, I'm pretty sure it's telling us there's a thing to find because we're probably right here. Uh, we will go back to here, but before we do that, let's see about taking over this metro station. Right? Yeah. So called the water slide. Sorry, water side. I added an L in there for no reason. The guy that plays Jughead off of Riverdale. Oh my god. So you like both the Coles then? Yeah, you like Dylan and Cole. Yeah, I got you. Yeah, but. Yeah. Yeah, but. <laughs> I think I cleared my side out. Probably gonna switch over to a melee weapon so I can do do the pulse. That's the only bad thing about uh, the bow is you can't pulse your little like vision. I have multiples with one arrow right here. Over here is like a little convenience store area. That's a bunch of stuff. Don't forget to loot that. You got quite a bit of goodies over here too. Yeah, rack them up. Looks like I think we cleared out everybody over here. Oh, here we go. Back to these jokers. Oh, I think that's a big guy. I think I got the big guys. <laughs> oh, ah, dang it. I hit the wrong. I lose oh more Molotovs that God. way. It's fine. Uh, I think the flashlight still would have helped. Okay, there he is. 
It was a shot in the heart. Yeah, I am to blame. Yeah. You know, we can't really sing songs or else it gets flagged. Copyright laws. My asthma is starting to kick in. And breathe. Yeah. Gotta get that realistic sound in there. Anybody tell me what day it is? Anybody know what day it is? That's right, it's hope day! Uh, <laughs> well, he said it on here. He said hump day. But yeah, hump day. Hey, look. This looks just like the other station that we cleared before. Huh. Which you're already on generator number one. Oh, you're like going, I want this loot that's right here. Yeah, it was more fun to shout, it's hump day! It's the same layout, but it's definitely different because now that's what one, that one's down there. Inside that cage area. Yep, still puke. Uh huh. Yeah, why can't that be a generator right there? I don't know if we get in there, if it's going to be safe or what. And then if we do go run down in there, where can we? I guess we have to run and hit this back up. Okay, well, I'm going to go ahead and take another puff. I want to attempt it. Okay. Not too bad. Still doing okay. Gotta get off of this. There we go. Okay, that's two. Now I gotta figure out how to get my butt back.
Got it. Unlocked in there. Hopefully, you still have access to it. <laughs> okay, well, I'm gonna drop down here. Oh, that's yeah, fantastic. But I'm trying to figure out how to get over there. I, I don't know yet how to get over there. I tried going up that way. Yeah. Bless you. There we go. Okay, I'm on the other side of the fence. Looks like you have to do a major detour around or you're gonna have to crawl underneath the pipes like I did. Yeah, jump over the edge of the, uh, of, no, to, behind you right there, jump over that. Jump over that, and then turn around. Back, right there, those pipes. Crawl underneath that. Then there'll be a ladder underneath. And then climb up the ladder and you're pretty much on the other side. I'm just trying to figure out how I'm going to get... up there. Okay, no doors here. Okay, there it is. I see, I see the ledge right there. There we go. Hey, okay. all turned on. Giggity. It works, it works, right? <laughs> you probably jump for that ledge, but you got enough. You could probably just rent and jump. We forgot to stop right here. I'm like, why is it, why isn't it working? Oh, Gotta hold it. I can't see him. Oh, I know. All over the screen. Yeah. All right, we've got that metro station.
Look, there's our inhibitor. Yeah. And it gives us an upgrade. Um, I am going with stamina. All right. So we could double back real quick and hit this and turn it in and uh, see about getting the next quest line of it. In fact, I think that's what, what I want to do. Let's go ahead and just go here. Oh, yeah, I know. <laughs> Here are your books. Not my books, dear boy. Our books. Humanity's books. The world is collectively sighing right now due to your efforts. And it doesn't even know why. This tale, your tale, will be the next great epic. And it's only begun. Ah, the Bible. I mean, well, that's like the book, right? Few books have shaped the world as profoundly as the Bible. Hmm, Hans Christian Andersen and his fairy tales. Powerful stories of virtue and resilience. Children's tales, yes, but containing wisdom for all. You have just rescued the collective unconscious of the Western world. Thanks to you, the fire in the belly of humanity burns brighter today. Let's stoke it more, shall we? Thalia there is my associate. She helps me track the collections around the city. She will point you to the next locations as I catalog the books you bring me. I'm up top. Yes. I heard about Rose withdrawal from the island. All right, just for funsies, could you highlight? Yeah, funsies. Can you highlight book club number two? Because it's saying it's only six meters away. Patrol. Yeah. See, she was right here. Hi, Aiden. I'm Thalia. So, you're the pilgrim Albert told me is helping us rebuild humanity's library. I am. Albert's a wonderful man. I only hope others will appreciate what he's trying to do. We're not in the middle of the Renaissance, you know. Few people read. What about you? What about me? Do you read? Of course. <laughs> when I can. Not often. Then tell me what you think. Between the Bible and Hans Christian Andersen's fairy tales, which would you consider a better guide to human behavior? Fairy tale. <laughs> well, there's a both. We can always go the neutral route and say both. I'm fine with fairy tales, but... Uh, fairy tales for sure. Doesn't have an agenda like some religious claptrap. Yes, but... Think of how the Bible has shaped the world around us. For good or ill, it's a powerful influence. I must speak to Albert now. Perhaps we'll talk again. Oh, crap. Speaking of which, here oh. are the locations of more books. I thought we failed. <laughs> Just like, oh, well, I don't think... Oh, yellow. Oh, well, if we said both, then she'd be like, you know what? That's probably a pretty smart way to say it because they both have their pros and cons. And I'm back on top, baby. Yeah. But not too far away. Okay, I, I think we could probably go ahead and knock these out. But look, see, it's here and then over here. But we can come right over here as soon as we get that that book. So I think that would probably be a good idea. We'll hit this, hit this, and then hit this uh, along the way, and then we'll get more of them knocked out. So, okay. I'm trying to find a way in. Oh, that's got to be the that's got to be the way in, right, right above you. There 
go. Right, yeah, right above you, and then right here is a wall. The little handholds right there to your right. Aim for that if you can, and then climb up. I want to check the refrigerator for this book. It is not in here. Oh, it's on the bookshelf. There's one on the bookshelf. Okay, right, right over here. Right there, okay. Get any other additional loot, which not a whole lot. Okay. And we're heading over here. Found one book. All right, found the other book. I'm good to head to the main main quest line and we'll turn this back in once when we get back over there because most likely we're going to be going back over here or we'll at least turn it in before we end the stream we'll turn it in right there but for now we're going to go ahead and we're going to go to here on welcome on board hands are pulling me down and we fell too so sounds like the come to Uh oh. Albino twins. Juan Rainer? You lost, man? We didn't call for a waiter. I've got orders to find you from Meyer and the commander. And my name's. I know who you are, Aiden. After that bang up with the Renegades, half the canteen wants to name their most precious offspring after you, including Vinny here. But. You interrupted our meal. State your purpose in one sentence, then please, make yourself scarce. Oh, you know perfectly well why I'm here. The UV lamps. Meyer says you owe the peacekeepers a delivery. And you think your barking will make an impression on me? The Lummox in Chief Jack thinks he can scent his terrier, and everyone will wet themselves in terror. But what can I expect? He can't tell the difference between champagne and a crystal chalice, or water from a dog's bowl. He has an ounce of refinement. Isn't that right, Vinny? Uh, I don't know. Don't be afraid. It's not like Jack is gonna march in and have you hanged. At least not now. Uh... Ah, oh, Vinny. When will you grow a spine? You want my attention, Aiden? Show me you deserve it. What can you offer me? I won't kill you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, well, I think I don't think I want to ask for his help. I don't want to threaten the guy. I say, I, I want to say, let's convince them. Let's see how, how well we do. Look, I could help you out as easily as I'm trying to help Matt. I don't doubt that. I've heard you were a pilgrim, but you're new here. Smashing the skulls of a few peasants doesn't mean everyone wants to lift you up on their backs. You have to be more subtle with people. Everyone has their own desire, their, their own price. Your pitch just isn't working for me quite yet. Try again. Mm -hmm. hey, ask him for help then. All right, listen. I'm just trying to help. I, I need those lamps. 
<laughs> so the groveling and begging begins. My favorite part. You really need him? Or Jack? What'd he promise you? Look, you were supposed to deliver, and I was asked to make sure you do. And how do you expect to do that? Maybe bat your pretty eyelashes at me? I'm not saying you're not my type, because you are. But I need a reason to break Vinny's heart for someone else. So you have to try harder. Huh. Okay. Hey. <sighs> You've used up all your time. Didn't pique my interest. Look, what is it you want, Juan? <sighs> like they used to say, if you gotta ask the price, you can't afford it. No, you gotta ask the price because everybody has a price. Once you know the price, then you know where to bargain. Not you can't no more pressing it. matters. And what a tool. Did you make headway with the pop of that? I've met a guy quite like him before. <sighs> I told you. you don't have a good Come see me back at my place. Right we'll talk. Even a drop of yeah, I don't th I think we were gonna fail no matter what. Fruit. So she's in here. Watch yourself, you hear? Come on, tell me about She's gonna see you. I lost where it went. That's upstairs. Let me guess. He scarfed down five horses and had a hot young woman at his side. A young man, but the rest is accurate. He's a piece of work, all right. Well, I need him to get back to work. Jack needs UV lamps and Juan's dragging his feet. Hmm, that'll be tough. Juan barely listens to Jack, so he'll be an even tougher audience for you. He has his own men and power base, and he loves rubbing Jack's nose in that. And what can I do about that? Same as everyone else. Bribe him. He likes fine art, antiques, expensive shit from before the fall. When he sees something that used to be valuable, he can't stop himself. Zero self-control. Hmm. All right, where can I find something like that? I heard of an old Polish guy who lived in a penthouse by Liberation Passage. They say he was an art collector. You can try his place. You can only get there via paraglider. That's why there's a chance something is left. I'll be on the radio and guide you to him. What about you, huh? Going on a hunt? <laughs> no, a party. It's Daniel's birthday, but you never know when a guest list will overlap with a hit list. Why don't you come and have a drink with us when you're done with one? I don't think Daniel likes me. <laughs> he doesn't like anybody. We'll be in touch. Let's just go back. Let's go to the map and see where we're going. Go ahead and just track that one. We'll, we'll go ahead and do the carriers. We'll get that one knocked out. So we're going to go here first. Ugh. I watched all of that. I'm looking for the guild master, Driscoll, I was told. Well, that'd be me. And who are you? It's not often I see an unfamiliar face. Not from around here, I gather. No, and I'm looking for work. Sorry, pal, but this is a special organization. You can't just waltz in off the street and get a job here. I'm not waltzing. I don't even dance. You think a smart mouth like that's gonna help you get work? Sorry, I'm just new to everything. I just need to get to know the city, and from what I heard, this seemed to be the best way to do it. And to make an honest wage. And I was a pilgrim, if that helps. A pilgrim, you see? I've heard about your kind. It's hardly a recommendation. All right, look, you said you were a special group. 
What's so special about the Carrier's Guild? We work for the people, not just for cash on the barrel head. Carriers deliver packages and letters all over the city. I did a lot of that as a pilgrim. It's a valuable service. It's priceless. And not just because of the fees we collect, you merc. Packages and letters are information. Information is the lifeblood of a society. It's also the connective tissue. Brings people together. And it can tear them apart. Yeah, I definitely get that. Ah, like hell you do. Pilgrims are just P.O. play. You don't have any higher purpose. But carriers. The carriers are the trusted stewards of this system of information and connection. In our way, we safeguard society, protect and defend information. We keep people connected to one another. I see what you mean. It sounds like a huge responsibility. Damn right it is. Which is why not every Tom, Dick, Harry, or shady pilgrim is cut out to be a carrier. Please. I just want to help. Is there anything I can do? Yeah, you can just bugger off. Have yourself a wonderful day. Um... Okay. Hey, are you sure you don't need me? Looks like you're running low on carriers. Aye. Things have gotten more dangerous than usual lately. Maybe I'm trying to do you a favor by not bringing you in at this particular juncture. I'm a pilgrim. I know danger. Outside the walls, danger. Oh, do you now? I tell you what. How about I give you a little test? And we see how that goes. Works for me. Test away. Okay, hotshot. Let's see what you're made of. First, you need to make your way to the top of a building nearby and bring back a package that was left by one of ours. Should be lying somewhere by a tent. Is that all? <laughs> Don't go anywhere. Okay. Find the package on the roof. Bitch, I was already on the roof. I'm dead. Oh, I didn't die. I, I recommend you taking the stairs. There's, there's mattresses right down there. See what happens if you hold B. Now take the zip line all the way up. Because you can't use the ladder to go up. Thanks, it would help. Uh don't tell me. Oh, okay, here's I was like, don't tell me I can't get out of this. got up here real fast. He wants us to go over to here. Uh. Oh, did you get this? That was easy. Yeah, the package was, not was right here, yeah. Not bad. That was a test? I got it. I barely broke a sweat. Hey, don't get cocky, hot shot. That was just a primer. As you'd guess, delivering messages will take you through areas swarming with infected. And sometimes at night. For this test, you'll need to pick up five letters that were dropped in a dark zone when the previous carrier was being chased by the infected. You'll need real skills just to survive, let alone succeed. Piece of cake for a pilgrim, though, right? <laughs> yep, 
This sounds more my speed. I see you soon. All right. Uh, so right here. I hit a zip line that I did not realize there was a zip line right there. Oh. Yeah, I'm. Yeah. A zip line to go down. I'm standing. I'm standing right by it. Yeah. There's somebody right in front of me. I meant to kick him off of there, but it apparently didn't work. Oh, the other letters are right here. Okay, we need, I think, one more. Oh, got them all. Okay. So we got them all, and now we have to go back. Not bad, hot shot. Not bad. That hardly qualified as a test. Ha! This last one, mate. You come face to face with customers. This is what the job is about. Connecting people through the letters they send and receive. Reconnecting our fractured society, so to speak. This is where you prove your true worth. I can handle it. Believe it or not, I'm sort of a people person. Oh, you could have fooled me. But I have to admit you're not a fragile type. I'm starting to see some potential. Pull this off, and I might consider letting you take the carrier's oath after all. I just better not get any complaints from the clients. You won't. I promise. Oh, he will. Complaints for days! I think we'll hit those on the way back. Let's go ahead. We'll track this. Yeah, we'll check there. This one's even marked. I didn't hit this vent. You see, it looks like the yellow cloth hanging off on that ledge. That's where I'm aiming for in case I don't hit up as high. See, you're going to make it on the roof right away. I might not. That's why I said I was aiming for that spot. Oh, I made it. Nice. We gotta go down. Yeah, see, now I can open it. Found something. He took his paintings, but no room for Jessica. <laughs> One romantic son of a bitch. Found a tape over here. This countertop, or or not this here. I don't see any other way up, so we'd have to climb up. Ah, it 
list of what he took, it seems. Juan would be pleased. It still works. PM. Mr. Burkowski, your transport is en route to you. The art collection should be on the roof already. Soon as the chopper is over the city, we'll call again. The one. I think I found his stash. A helicopter was coming for this guy. They sent everything to the roof. I'm headed there to look. Good luck. <laughs> I wonder if it's in the in this area right here that we opened up. Yeah. Because apparently we we're supposed to go in through the window. We didn't do it the way they wanted it done. Yeah, look, here's all the stuff. That's him right there. Ah, oh, fuck. There aren't any paintings left. Everything's been destroyed. Hey, Luan, found our collector. But no sign of his collection. Luan? Hey, you there? Jesus, Aiden. I told you I was leaving. Okay, quick thing. Nothing here except for a bottle of whiskey and one of vodka. At least the whiskey's the good stuff. Juan likes a good whiskey. Maybe if you get him shit-faced, he'll loosen up, so to speak. So he's still in the canteen? I saw him leaving. Seemed to be heading back to the ship. Probably to his quarters. Okay, I'll go there. And listen, that vodka, Danier is a big fan. If you're planning to drop by, which you probably aren't. But if you really want to get to know this city, this is the way. Just saying. Oh, we gotta take the liquor. Ah. Took it. Optional is attend the party. So there's a party here, which basically we got to go here to deliver a message, anyways. Happy birthday, Daniel. Oh. So you have come after all. Yeah, here, a little something to celebrate another year on the planet. What do you want from me, Gacho? What do you mean? What do you need? Why the gift all of a sudden? But the one said it's your birthday, so I thought you... I understand the concept of a birthday gift. To get it said dinner war. Yeah, uh... Okay, uh, listen. Happy birthday. Uh, lost the bet. But at least I have something to cheer me up. Well, bet? Never mind. Lavon is at the bar. That looks like her right there. Bar. Oh. oh. We're outside. Outside bar. Park. <laughs> Aiden! You came! You invited me. Didn't you want me here? Let me get a bottle so you can catch up with us. Bro, off duty, hmm? Uh, listen, you know how stressful things can be sometimes. You get your orders, they don't make any sense. You're fighting the clock to get shit done. Oh, I feel you, trust me. So, you made it. Luan won. Who won? Is this about some bet? Yeah, with Daniel. She was sure you'd come. Him, not so much. It's almost as if it mattered to her. That's unusual. Here, Aiden. Drink. Nicholas's finest booze. We were about to play a game. No, Luan, we weren't. Come on. I'm out. Yeah, count me out. Too drunk already. A bunch of losers. Aiden, are you playing? Sure. Okay, let's do it. My man! Rules are simple. You either answer an awfully personal question about yourself, or you must perform the dare. 
Okay, wait, so if I don't want to answer the question, I get to pick the dare. You wish. We decide whether it's a truth or dare. If you don't do as you're told, you drink. So, have you slept with anyone in Villador? No. Are you for real? <laughs> Maybe the guy has standards. Fall in love first and all that crap. Yeah, good luck with that. Not everyone is like you, bro. You know what? Let's just be brutally honest this whole okay. entire time. Your turn. I want to hear you play. Fuck off. Wait, what do you mean? I'll drink. Forget about it. You play an instrument. Never mind. I drank. Moving on. She used to play the ukulele. Really? Guys, moving on. Aiden, you play for Ro, and I dare you to ask Ro to sing. It's awful. There. Let's hear those pipes, Ro. Okay, <clears throat> you asked for it. You're my ragamuffin. <laughs> you might think I'm tough and all, but I always have a ball with you. Woo, 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 woo. <laughs> You're my ragamuffin. I know it's just a silly name, but you set my heart aflame. It's true. <laughs> Good lord, shoot me. Shoot me dead before I have to hear another note. Wow, man, that was, that was something. Uh, yeah, but he enjoyed it. Okay, enough of this. Anything you want to ask the master assassin here? I always wondered about that hit list. Shut up, bro. It's not your turn. How did uh, the hit list start? What did you do after escaping Walt? Let's kind of want to avoid the Waltz question. And let's ask about how the hit list started. Oh yeah, the, the hit list. How did it start? With a bastard who had to pay for what he did. It started with one. Then there was another one. And then a whole bunch of them. But who was the first one? That's another question. Drink. No, he's just making you answer the first one. Who cares what he asked? It started way before that. When I escaped from Waltz. Frank helped me. He showed me that there's something else I can do with all my anger. Back then I thought I'd join them. Be a night runner someday. <sighs> Who was I kidding? They were wiped out at the VNC tower. Frank lost almost everyone. The night runners fell. Frank started to drink, gave up on life, on himself. So, I'm not a night runner. But at least I have my list. <sighs> Good night. Did I ask the wrong question? That's the beauty of this game, Pilgrim. Sooner or later, you get to the wrong question. I'll see you soon, I guess. We didn't get drunk. Sober. How we like it. All right. Um. Oh, well, I guess we gotta talk to him again. Gajo, here you are. Thank you. Thank you for the vodka. Thank you. Let's drink for me and another year in this ship hole. You're not the worst, you know. Why, are you finally warming up to me? Nah, it just means there are worse assholes and that I'm drunk. Where's Levan? I saw her with you. Now we played the game and I asked the wrong question. How the hit list started. <sighs> gajo, Gajo. You got her thinking about the past. 
Listen, and I'm not telling you this because I like you. I don't even fucking know why I am telling you this. But never, never ask Lavan about her past. You get it? Good. Now get lost. It's my birthday. Okay, optional, got it done. There is the mail letter right here. Carrier here. Here's a message. Thank you. <sighs> well, it's about time. Horse papers? Um, pardon? It's from my boyfriend. He's finally leaving his wife. Ah, oh, congratulations. My wife and I separated months ago. She was very understanding. I'm just glad Len finally got the courage to be honest to his wife. Now, we can get on with our lives. Hmm. He's the rugged man. <laughs> okay, so is there a speed? Well, there's kind of a speedy we can take. So let's take, let's take that. We're going to go over here. For the, for the uh, mail. I know. So I said, if I could jump, I would have definitely beaten you. Nope. them my research was spot on here we have the complete works of william shakespeare his stories are some of the most often retold and adapted in history so universal were his themes his tragedies were the most popular hmm are we humans drawn to tragedy hmm? something to reflect upon the arabian nights originally 1001 nights a seminal collection of stories, folk tales, and songs that span a continent over several centuries. It is a melting pot of literature, sometimes fantastical, often violent. Not unlike life in our own city, more monumental achievements secured from destruction. <laughs> Let's keep at it. I believe Thalia already has readied a new list. Better see that shelf grow. And I'll probably be. Oh, hey! Whoa. I'm still down here. Nice. Yeah. Okay, new side quest is Book Club 3, Come but away. we already knew that. I see you've brought back a collection of Shakespeare's works for Albert. Are you familiar with Romeo and Juliet? I guess. Tell me, do you believe in love? I mean, true love. The faded love of which Shakespeare wrote. Um. I don't. Not since I was a kid. And then I grew up. I see what you mean. But don't you even hold out some glimmer of hope? I can only hope to find my sister. I mean, it's all I got. Speaking to you, Aiden, has once again been a revelation. I look forward to your next visit. It's a welcome break for me. For you too, I hope. Here's a new list. Watch out for yourself. Okay, now I appeared on top. Hey, you seen the water map but whatever. Okay, so that gave us book club number three, which we're not going to do, uh, but we do have uh, carriers. Uh, highlight that one.
And we'll uh, get those or get those done. Looks like it's down there. You're right, yeah. Carrier's Guild. I have a letter for Barry. Mom? Mommy! It's a letter from Dad! Careful. Don't tear the letter when you open it. I won't, Mom. I swear. Bless you, Carrier. You made my son's day. Guess his father went out for uh, some smokes. Never came back. Okay, let's get this last one and then we're probably gonna call it it. Call it right there. I have a letter for you. Finally. I'm sorry, sir. I brought the letter as soon as it was given to me. I'm not upset with you. It's my son. Weeks without hearing from him. Thought he was dead. No concern for his father. I'm thankful for you, Carrier. At least now I know my idiot son is still alive. Yeah, but I don't know how long it's been since that letter hasn't been delivered. Oh. Hey, Driscoll. That's job it. done. All packages delivered safely. Well, that's what I want to hear. Come by when you can. I've got something for you. Remember, you can always take the metro to get here quicker. I'm heading up to our uh, bed. I didn't finish off carriers. We'll finish that next stream. Um, but for now, I think that's this is a good spot to end. We're we're kind of over the time limit that uh, we normally stream. So uh, while we're heading to our little hidey hole, um, we've got quite a bit done actually. Uh, permission wise I think we're doing pretty good uh, we still have quite quite a bit left to do trying to get more uh, more submissions now we're getting the uh, getting along on the main mission uh, it's looking pretty good so here here's what we have left or so far again if it's any type of challenge we're really not doing it just FYI again uh, we'll get to, to this one next stream, uh, which we're already here for, so we'll probably do that one. We'll also make sure that we finish this one up and pros possibly uh, continue on with the uh, book club until it's maybe finished or so. So with that, guys, thank you so much for watching. We both definitely appreciate that. I am hotty or I am drunk monkey 42 with hotty monkey 42 that is our last call guys thank you again so much thank you for the love appreciate all the likes and follows if you're not already following please hit that follow that helps us out dramatically we definitely appreciate that and until next time guys we will see you next stream peace